the most wonderful time of the year to make a gingerbread house. We're gonna be using graham crackers to make our gingerbread houses, and in the lieu of frosting, we're going to be using hot glue guns. So what you're going to need to do first is create the base of your house. You will be expected to add on to this base, but you should all start the same way. Begin by scoring and cutting two graham crackers on the lines I drew here with red. I'll show you how to do this. You're going to take your graham cracker and you're going to take a serrated knife. These plastic ones work just fine. Watch how I'm going from one corner to the center of the graham cracker. So I'm kind of scoring a line through half of the graham cracker. I'm gonna do that on both sides. Okay, so I'm like making an X. And then I'm going to try to break the graham cracker just on these two lines. Now look, it broke in another area. This happens sometimes. This does not mean throw your graham cracker away or eat it. We're actually going to glue it back together. Okay, you can see I'm gonna do this again on my next one. Just to clarify, when you're scoring, you're sawing with the knife back and forth, okay? Pretend like it's a saw. You're gently going back and forth and it's just kind of cutting through the graham cracker. Now, even if you're really careful, you still may have mistakes happen, but look, this one turns out just perfect. Next, you're already ready to start gluing with the glue guns. So you can see if you make any mistakes when you're cutting, just glue that back together, no big deal. And then you're going to be gluing these two pieces that you cut to two full graham crackers. For best results, you're going to want to first glue a full graham cracker to one of those cut pieces so that the full graham cracker is glued on the outside of the piece that you cut. Then you're going to glue this down to your paper plate. I applied glue to the bottom and then I put this base of the house kind of towards one side of the plate so that I have room to expand from the other side if I want to. Before your glue dries, check that your corner is making a 90 degree angle and then begin to glue together your next two parts. Again, you're going to want to glue the long wall to the outside of the short wall that you cut. Then you'll glue it to the other piece that's already glued down to the paper plate. At this point, check your work, and if you need to apply any extra glue, do so, and then you'll be ready to attach the roof. Your roof is going to be two more full sheets of graham crackers. You can begin by applying some glue to the V-shaped part of those short walls, and then you're going to be gluing the two full sheets of graham crackers together and placing them down on top of the base of the house that you've built. And at this point, you have a nice start to a graham cracker gingerbread house. Now's where the fun begins. Now use your own creativity to figure out other ways to build on to this house. Maybe you want to add a garage. Maybe you want to add a chimney. Maybe you want to make this house bigger. You can do anything you want now. During this first day of building your gingerbread house, you're going to just build with graham crackers and glue. So it's all about the structure. It's about architecture. What can you create to make this house more interesting? A couple tips for you are, feel free to make cuts in the graham crackers anywhere you want before you glue it together to your house. Once pieces are glued on though, I would not recommend trying to cut into an already glued piece of graham cracker. It seems like a good idea, but I tried some things like that on mine and it usually just broke and crumbled. So scoring first and then breaking is the best way to successfully cut these graham crackers. Also, as you're working, just save pieces. You're gonna end up with lots of little graham crackers all different sizes. Save them and kind of look at them and try them out different places and see what works best. After building your house today, next class you're gonna have access to a lot of different candy that you can use to decorate your house. You can also still build onto your house next class too. And of course, you will be taking these gingerbread houses home with you next class.